Well, it is the year of the quinoa. Now, I've practiced the whole morning and how to say it. <laughs> well, this time around, I get to cook it. Michael Olafi, how are you? Good, well, I'm good, thank you. Look at this. What yeah. is it? <laughs> this is quinoa. This is a sacred Inca crop that's been that's been cultivated for somewhere between three and four thousand years. Um, it's regarded as a grain, which it's not. Um, it's a it's a seed. It's a dicotyledonous two-part seed. It's high in fiber, high in amino acids, high in protein, good for vegetarians, therefore. And very easy to, to deal with and very easy to cook. I looked at it and the first thing I thought, because I mean, I was touching and feeling through it. The first thing I thought was it looks like couscous. Yes. It's a very different thing to couscous. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a complete seed. Ah, what's couscous? Couscous, couscous is a kind of pasta right. that is rolled into tiny little balls. You get the very fine couscous and you get what, what they call pearl couscous. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, which is lovely to eat and lovely in salads. So uh, there's a brown one. and the... Yes, and you can get black as well. All right. Um, and <clears throat> quite easy to cook. Um, you, you, can, you can toast it, just give it a, a bit of extra nuttiness. Like you would do quite... with an almond? Like you would do with an almond. Right. Quite good to, to wash it just to get any uh, sort of extra starch off it. Um, but you can imagine how pretty um, how pretty a salad would look with red, some, with red some quinoa. Of the brown ones. Yeah. It, it feels better than the white ones. It really does. It does. It feels very different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it feels soft and texture. It does. So how do we cook this? this uh, just like you would rice. Okay. okay. So you just pop it into a pot, add some water, bring it to the boil, turn it down very low, cook it for about 15 minutes or so. And then what I like to do is I like to take a dishcloth, take the lid off the pot, put a dishcloth on, put the lid back on, then take it off the heat so that the steam that comes off is absorbed by the, ah. by the dishcloth. And then you have, you have a, a much lighter end product. You also told me how to make a boiler with a dishcloth. You love your dishcloth, Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay with us. We're going to cook with quinoa today. Um, we just had the lesson. I didn't know what it is until today. So stay with us. What are we making after the break? We're going to make a salad, a sort of a jeweled salad. Jeweled quinoa? Yes. Wow. Okay. It's becoming interesting in our Feel Good Breakfast Show's <laughs> kitchen. This is Espresso. We'll be back after the break. Goodness can be found in encouraging greatness at the Junior Runners Academy in Soweto. Pick and pay, always there for you. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso on SABC3. A feel good morning. We're cooking with the year of the quinoa. Now, I learned before the break what a quinoa is. I thought it was couscous. No, couscous and pasta. Quinoa is similar to rice. It's a seed. seed. Okay, so here we are. I, I just want to <laughs> touch it because I, I can mm, see what it looks like in this pot. It's very tactile, isn't it? All right, so yeah. what do we do? Well, what we're going to do first is I'm going to make um, a dressing. You're very good at this. So a and dressing for our quinoa salad. Yeah. So we've got some we've got some garlic there. Right. And then, do you know that I've got one of these that I bought in London in 1969 and still using it? When was 1969? A long time ago. <laughs> Probably before your mother was born. I think so. <laughs> Michael, were you alive then? Oh yes, just. You don't look a day yes. older than 23. <laughs> Okay, so lemon right. in there. So there we've got our lemon juice. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I'm going to add some olive oil. How much olive oil? Um, enough. <laughs> Just a good, wow. a good slick. You want to add, you want to add about three times the amount of oil to juice ah, or vinegar, whatever okay. you use. So look, that and, was a nice and juicy lemon. Oh, so yeah. Right. So let's just get that. Let's just get that mixed up. Oh, it and smells then, lacquer. Does it not? Yeah. Yeah. All and right. then I think I'm going to just put a wee little bit of salt and pepper in to start off with. And when you ask Michael how much salt, he'll say, just enough. A pinch. A, a pinch. three finger pinch. Yeah, yeah, well, my fingers are. Never mind. Right. All right, so and then. So now we're going to add, we're going to add some spice. Yeah. What kind of spice is that? Paprika. Paprika. Cumin. Cumin. And cinnamon. And cinnamon, okay. Yeah. So you can see me literally reciting this. Of course, you will get a link to the recipe with all the pick and pay ingredients um, that you can just SMS and, and we'll send it to you. And you also stand in line of winning a six month subscription of the Fresh Living magazine. Now this recipe is in the booklets inside the Fresh Living magazine. And our keyword for this morning is fresh. Fresh to 337. Two eight. So fresh to three three seven two eight. Wait, where are you? So what just, did you do? The, well, we've got the we've got the dressing in there. And then you put the quinoa. And now we're putting the quinoa on now, top. How long did you cook your quinoa for? Um, about fifteen minutes or so, just until it's soft. Until it's soft. Yeah. What does it taste like? I've smelt it already. I have. Have a taste. 
Okay, so it tastes, um, it's a little crunchy, but it's soft and it tastes like rice. <laughs> so there we've got our cucumber. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We've got our tomato. This is called this is called jeweled um, to, um, quinoa. Quinoa. Why do you call it jeweled? Because it looks like it's got little jewels in it. Ah, because the quinoa is because it's got a, it's, the, the texture is almost shiny. It looks yeah. a little shiny. I'm leaving little bits in there so we can just put that on the top at the Legs end. Legs run when we make it look pretty. Spring onion. Yeah. And then these are pomegranate rubies. These are pomegranate pips. Nice. Yeah. So that goes. So it gives in. a nice little sort of tart little ending to it. And there's some lemon juice at the bottom, so. Yeah. And then yeah. we've got mint. Mint that you've chopped up finely. Yep. Coriander. Mm-hmm. What's the last one? That is um, parsley, flat Ooh, leaf it smells parsley. Good. It smells so divine. Does it not? Your keyword is fresh. Fresh to 33728. Not only do you get a link to uh, the recipe, so a list of the pick and pay ingredients, but also you uh, stand in line of winning a six month subscription of the Fresh Living magazine. Uh, this doesn't recipe that, is in the booklet. Doesn't that look pretty? It looks like a jewel. Da well, our that, jewel absolutely. Quinoa salad. <laughs> and then we dish it up. And then we dish it, and then. We'll garnish it after we've dished it. Okay, well, that's fairly simple. Yep. And it's nice and shiny. And it's ni lovely, fresh, crunchy. I mean, really, with this, you just want a nice piece of, of maybe some fish off the braai. Um, yeah. Of, or chicken. <laughs> and look, at while you're doing that, we, we have to go and look at Stu, how we got to this point. Take a look. Mix together garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, cumin, paprika, and cinnamon. Toss in the quinoa, add parsley, mint, coriander, spring onions, tomatoes, cucumber, almonds, pomegranate rubies and season to taste. And our keyword is fresh, fresh to 33728 to get your jeweled quinoa salad. It looks amazing, it's beautiful, it's so easy to make, even I can make it. And of course, uh, the year of the quinoa, that's what we're celebrating in our Feel Good Breakfast Kitchen. That was really easy. Was it not? And it smells great. The prepping takes time. Yeah. Do you my jewel? Oh, jewel thank salad. You. Michael Olafi <laughs> in the house. Well, stay with us on our Feel Good Breakfast show. I'm going to eat salad. It's time for the news. We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you.